Elite Facts presents. Most amazing houses you won't believe actually exist. Ten. Glass front cabin. It was on one of their first dates that designer Lila Horwitz and photographer Nick Olson sketched out their dream home in a restaurant napkin. We romanticized over the idea of building something with a whole wall of windows, mostly thinking about watching a sunset or stargazing from inside the house, says Horwitz. Soon, the duo's artistic vision, resourcefulness, and ingenuity resulted in the getaway they'd dreamed of: an antique glass house. Nine. The Geodome. Nestled in a bird forest on the edge of a small cliff in Scotland, and visible only from the sea, lies this futuristic dome home. The homeowners relish the panoramic views of the Lynn of Lorn and Castle Stalker. Castle, ugh, to Monty Python fans, made famous by Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Views best enjoyed from the outdoor hot tub. Eight. Architect Andrew Hinman was approached to find an odd solution to a very unusual client design dilemma: how to put a vintage 1950s 12-meter trailer next to a river without having it swept away by a South Texas flash flooding. Hinman responded by lifting the 1954 Spartan Imperial Mansion trailer 1.5 meters above the flood plain, nine meters above the river. Onto concrete piers and building a new Swiss Army knife-like accessory for the trailer, complete with big screened in veranda and a sleeping tower with an air-conditioned bathroom. This is one trailer that's not going anywhere for a while. The veranda dining space is encased by fine fabric mesh screens. The owner is allergic to insect bites, so great attention was given to making sure the living spaces were completely secure. There's even a steel screen underneath the floorboards. Seven. Founder of the aptly named Tumbleweed Tiny House Company, Jay Schaefer has been building and living in homes smaller than 11 square meters for more than a decade, and his company is encouraging others to do the same. This energy-efficient home comes in at about two by five meters. The sleeping space is nestled into a tiny nook above the great room. The home's superb insulation helps keep this place warm in winter and cool in summer, considerably reducing the cost of energy bills. Six. Aiming to design a project that made people think about the uncertain nature of what we call home, artist Duho So built a home teetering on the edge of the University of California's engineering building. Fallen stars, a powder blue gable roof cottage, and permanent sculpture inspired by Sue's journey from Seoul to the United States, and his feeling of being plucked out of the comfortable and familiar and lodged into a dizzying, unfamiliar environment. Simulated smoke in the form of steam rises from the chimney throughout the day. Inside, on the fireplace mantel, the picture frames even show photos of people from the engineering school below. Only the large bookcase and desk are bolted to the floor, while the eclectic mix of other furnishings sometimes slip towards the door, but very slowly. Five. It's not only owner Steve Michaels and his family who get to enjoy the Hobbit House of Montana. Tolkien fans travel far and wide to enjoy the whimsical home and shire surrounds that include a tree stump shaped troll house and small fairy houses. The Hobbit House's main bedroom has a king-sized bed, a high-definition TV, satellite radio, and Wi-Fi. Michael says he can even slip into slippers that look like Hobbit feet or wear a handmade wizard's hat similar to the one Gandalf wears in the movie The Hobbit. Four. Looking to stretch your sea legs? This free-floating eco lodge can hold up to 10 people during the day and has four comfy beds for overnighters, making it the ultimate getaway for friends in the Netherlands. On board the floating home trend, this structure is built from FSC-certified Western red cedar and tempered safety glass that fits in its aluminum frame. A solar panel provides the lodge's power. Although sustainability had an impact on the design, Beiji looked at the bigger picture instead of implementing every eco-friendly feature possible. Three. If you have claustrophobia, look away now. This Polish narrow house is the epitome of small space style. Designed by Jacob Szczesny of Centrala, 
This 1.2 meter wide studio is wedged into a gap between two buildings and takes up a total of 14 square meters of once unused space. Centrala Israeli writer Edgar Carrot enjoys a tiny kitchenette, dining area, bathroom, bedroom and desk all in an area just over a meter wide. In the bedroom, a 1 meter wide mattress and desk get plenty of light from the translucent front facade. Two. Growing up in East Africa, Simon Payne always felt an attachment to the great outdoors and, in particular, tree houses. After a day trip to Athens, Greece, he soon put his design vision into practice, building a tree house within the gardens of one of his client's estates. Payne chose a site among a collection of mature pine trees near the client's main home and not far from an existing children's play area. The tree house is filled with a wide range of high-tech gadgets and it's fittingly referred to as James Bonds' HQ by Payne. The treehouse substructure, deck, frame and roof are built almost entirely from FSC certified softwood timber, being one of the most sustainable construction materials available and ideal for treehouse construction. 1. Pan Am Plane House Apparently, even aircraft boneyards aren't safe from the avid scavengers' eyes. Indeed, it was deep in the heart of the Mojave Desert, California, where France Hugh Graywald and her architect, David Hertz, traveled to select the commercial plane that would be transformed into her 747 wing house in the hills above Malibu. Five years later, the owner moved in, enjoying breathtaking views and providing a show-stopping dot point on the landscape. Don't forget to like us and subscribe for more Elite Facts.